Welcome everyone to a tutorial video on this channel. Just got a couple of things before I say get into the video. Hope you enjoyed my intro. Um, only one of my first train simulator video didn't have the intro because it wasn't done. So hope you enjoyed that as well. The first train simulator video. There will be one later on today. Um, don't know though. Um, so. This is how to download a reskin on Train Simulator, and yeah, let's get into it. So this is Super Alps. I'll link the website below, um, to get all, like, all the res like all, the rest of the reskins. Basically, I'll copy that website and the link below. So I want the GWR reskin. So you click download page, and this will tell you all about it. And then at the bottom. It will say what you need. So you need the South London network from Steam to use this reskin, and that's because you get three seven five with it, and you need three seven five for this. Even though if you buy the London to Brighton route, you get three seven seven. I don't even know why you need three seven five. It, I don't know why, but it might just be something about editing or all the color quits white. All they need to do is the doors. And then it's done because the doors was yellow and the rest of it was right, so it'd be easy to change the color. So, you do click download, obviously, and then it will come up to this page. And then it's, it's a zip file, but I'll tell you how to do all that stuff. You click on download, you might get a pop up like this, so you just cancel it. You can click save or open, but I prefer to click save as you save it, and then you wait for it to save, should take should be quite quick. So, you open folder. You see here, if you click open folder, it will take you directly where it is and it will be at the bottom. But when you come out of it, go back, it will be in order. Um, you click on extract all and then click extract, and then this should take literally seconds, depends how big the file it is, and then it will bring you to this page. But you don't need this, so you come, but you can. Get the PDF file, come out of that, and then I think it'd be best to do this, put it to one side, come out of that, and then you need this folder. So you go on this piece, well, we don't need that yet because I already got utilities up, but I'll show you where to find it. So you go on Windows, go into pro Program x86 Files, go on to Steam, go on to Steam Apps, go on Common. Go on Malworks and utilities will be right at the bottom. So you click it and it might not. I well, I'm going to click no because I already got it open. So that's how you get utilities up. So once you've got utilities open, you go on to package manager, click install, and then you go wherever you save the file and then you just look where it is, it will be in alphabetical order. You go on to it, you should find it quite easy, and then you click you click the RWP file, and then you open. As you can see, data assets are already installed. That's only because I've got the three seven three eight seven CTC three eight seven Gatwick Express and all that. So I'll just put, click OK, OK, just to make sure, and then this should take pretty quick. And you can exit or minimize. I'm going to minimize. So you're going to scroll down just to the instruction manual and then you're going to go to assets, it say here, RSC, South London line and then you go on to rail vehicles, electric, class 375, 
But listen, this I don't know if it will apply to you. But when I downloaded C to C yesterday, it was easy. I didn't have to copy any files. But when I had to download the Tenzing and the Southern, I had to go on C to C and copy the G E O P C D X files from there. I don't understand that. But you come out of that, you d you check on Southeastern White, which it ain't there for some other reason. So I'll go on to C to C, and as you can see, the G E O P C D X files is there. So I'll copy all three. And then you go on to GWR and then you just paste onto there. And now what you do, you can come out all this and then you go into train simulator. I'll show you that once I've loaded in. So So thank you for waiting up a quick second. Um I am on train simulator. So you can't it won't be on the game yet. So what you do, this is anyone can do this, press easy. You get the actual game does the rest for you. you. All you have to do, go into settings in the top right hand corner, go into tools, clear check and you can see on the top force a reset of install DLC. So you clear check and then you click yes and then So I'm sorry if I like was talking and cut out because the recording what I'm using only can record gameplay not the actual desktop. The desktop is a different program. So after you've done that, you go into drive and then just wait for it to load and then you do, 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 you have to find it if you've got so many trains it'll be difficult to find but it'll be easy it'll just be 387 electric star and then you're great these are all the those can see great western railway so thank you for waiting a quick second again um, as you can see, I'm in the game. Um, I haven't got the Paddington route, but you can use this on any route, really. So, I'm not going to drive it to the next station, but I'll just show you it. So, you can't really see the black circle, because obviously it's not white. But, it works like the others. Um, go and free cam. There you go, Great Western Railway. I don't think it's got um, operated by first group. Oh, yeah, it has. There you go, a first group company. So that is the 387 reskin right there. So, uh, move, lady. So, yeah, I know I did, did a screenshot because I want to get fun now. So, yeah, we're going to see it to part, and this is the Armstrong Powerhouse sound pack. I'll link that in the description below. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me move forward. I know, it's so weird. Um, I know, I know, I know. Because I want to... Let's just there you go. The lights are facing the right way, so we're gonna watch it depart. So we go over at the front. So we just pause it, and we're gonna watch it depart. So we will go. Watch it's three two one because we've got to go all the way through the platform. So this three two one's coming in platform seven, I believe. Yep, platform seven. There you go, three two one. That's the Armstrong Powerhouse, and um, I'll do a video of that soon. Don't know when. You can just hear the horn. There you go. You can get a reskin of this with the Great Northern lettering, which is actually quite cool. Um, so yeah, so it's quite cool, really, how it all works. And you can do this on the London to Brighton route if you really desire, cause the third rail shoe. So I hope you enjoy. Um, we'll just watch it into the tunnel. 
So I hope you enjoy, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the video or live stream later on today, I don't know though. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Take care and a happy new year. Bye.